Hello again and thank you for joining me to consider God's word and to pray together today. Now the Bible says in Psalm 84 verse 11 that the Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. Sometimes we pray for a certain thing, don't we, thinking that it's good for us or simply because it's just what we would want. But God, who has a plan for each of our lives, knows what's right for us and what will keep us on the path that he's chosen for us. And that means that sometimes he'll say to us, not that way. If you trust me, I've got something better for you. Now, we can get upset sometimes when God says no to us, not realising we might have been even more upset if he'd said yes and we'd got exactly what we asked for. That's why it's so important for us to pray that we'll be in line with his will. Even if it's not what we think we want, and even if it's uncomfortable for a while, we need to trust him. Now, trusting God and following his plan can be a bit like walking down a misty lane. The mist hides whatever's at the end, and you can only see a couple of steps ahead of you. But as you go further along that lane and venture into the mist, more of the goal is revealed and comes into focus. When Paul was in prison, he said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 11, I have learned to be satisfied with the things I have and with everything that happens. Now, his contentment didn't come from his surroundings. He was in prison during most of his ministry. His contentment came from trusting God and knowing that, as it reminds us in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11, he makes everything work out according to his plan. Paul didn't understand every detail of God's plan, but he trusted God with every step that he took. And that is what we need to do as well. Let's now pray the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.